wildlife sanctuary where tigers attack dog it's very amazing so sit back relax and watch this video till the end My journey starts from Ranthambore National Park. Ranthambore National Park is one of the biggest and owned national park in northern India. The park is located in the Savai Madhapur district of southern eastern Rajasthan. Being considered as one of the famous and former hunting grounds of the Maharajas of Jaipur today, the Ranthambore National Park terrain is a major wildlife tourism attraction that has pulled the attention of many wildlife photographers and lovers in this destination. Anthambur Wildlife Sanctuary is known as for its Bengal tigers and is one of the best places in India to see these animals in their natural jungle habitat. The national park is spread over an area of 392 square kilometers, along with its nearby centuries like the Mansingh Sanctuary and the Kaliya Devi Sanctuary. The park is majorly famous for its tiger and is one of the best locations in India to see the majestic predators in its natural habitat. The tiger can be easily spotted even during the daytime, busy at their ordinary quest, hunting and taking proper care of their young ones. According to the rangers, the tigress is in the bushes. They are tracking her, she is walking, not more than 40 meters far from the nest. You can't see her because of these dense bushes. Surely she is seeing us. Every team is waiting for the tigers to come out from the bushes. They are tracking her from their instruments. Monkeys are also looking at her. As she is moving to the opposite direction from us, we have to move. We are going to the other direction so that we can see her from there. We are tracking her down. We can see her. See the teams is already waiting for her. They can see her sitting in the dance bushes. You can see her from their binoculars. She is moving to the other side. She is very big and beautiful. We can see her. Yes, you can see her. She is very beautiful. She is very big. I'm not able to hold my camera still. This car is moving. Everyone is chasing her down. Every tracker. There are more than 10 cars here. Everyone is chasing her. You can see her from the back. My camera is not distant. She is continuously moving. We are chasing her down. Now we have to move because we are the most ahead. Finally, we have dragged her down. This tigress T69 not only looks beautiful, but also is a very powerful entity who is having a strong hold over her territory, which includes Ranthapur Palace, Forts of Ranthapur, and many more. She owns a single zone out of 10 zones, having 81 tigers of total, so you can count on her. What makes T69 so special is her comfort level with the humans. She is too smart at times. She used to take advantage of the token speakers to stalk and hunt. You can see her. She is walking like a cat, walking in her cat. So, there are a total number of 10 zones in Ranthambore National Park. My zone is zone number 1, where Tiger T24 named Ustad used to live. He was a majestic tiger, born in 2005. T24 was named as Ustad by the locals owing to his free spirit. He was always a bit different from other tigers and would drag his prey to highway to eat in a full public view. He would also not move away from the past seeing humans approaching as other normal tigers. Despite of all unconventional behaviors, he was the major draw to Ranthambore Reserve and was loved by the wildlife freaks and photographers. 
but the question is what brought Ustad in limelight? Majestic and interpreted, Ustad came into limelight of entire nation when he killed a veteran forest guard, Rampal Singh, on the doom day of May 8, 2015. After that, he also killed more than four to five peoples in the, that Anthabur National Park. Ustad has grown violent and aggressive over a few years. His human fear had faded. Chasing vehicles and catching humans as his prey had become like a routine for him. That is why people now used to call him a man-eater. Ustad, a man-eater. Now, he is shifted to a local area zoo. He has become violent to humans, but he is the most famous tiger in the National Park of Atlanta. And I will cover his documentary to an other separate video because he's, he was very interesting. We further moved to track the tigers. We saw all the white spotted deers looking attention. They are so quiet, eating grass and looking around. White tailed deer gets their name from the white fur on their tails. When they sense danger, these deer lift their tails showing off white underneath. This acts as a warning sign to other deers. White-tailed deer, which also called Virginia deer, can be found over a larger area than any other animal. They are mostly only eating grass. This is said, but truth is that they are the food of tigers. They know there is danger as we are just standing there the tigers is trapped. He is the range and all these looks very attentive. The mothers are keeping their fawns so close to them. All these deers are gathering together. They have sensed something, I'm sure. Horses are also coming from the inside the bushes from the deer forest. All these deers in my range are gathered and moving to the other part of the jungle. The birds are chirping and monkeys are making very bad sound. I can listen very much to this. Ranger says, the tigress is running. He says she is hunting. We are going to take her down. She is running. All these deers are moving very fast. The other part, phones are so close, they are unaware of the situation and just moving with their feet. One of the phone is left behind and going alone from the rest of the he might be in danger. We have arrived to the site and we are seeing that the dog has been attacked by the tigers very badly. He is attacked and get caught from the neck. We can see only two marks on the neck on this dog. He is not dead yet. He is breathing and has been sent to the veterinary. But the question rises that why the tigers didn't eat the dog with her. According to the experts, experts are saying that the dog came in the way of the tigers and get caught by her. She didn't mean to kill her. After this hunt, another deer group come out to the side. These are different species than the spotted deers. One female, one male and a fawn who is maintaining close distance to her mother. They are in danger. They have lifted their ears. They know we are listening to the noises from around. These deers having low running speed as compared to the spotted deer ones. As the spotted deers are having less weight so they can run easily get fast having high speed around 60 to 80 kilometers per hour and their weight ranges from 100 to 160 kgs. From a chasing speed comparing to a tiger, these are very fast and can get rid of the tigers after a few chasing time. We are seeing that the fawn looks starving but 
this time is not for free. They have to run for it. These deers have a mark under their eyes, which differs them from the Neil guys. They don't have that mark under their eyes. We have got the recent news that the tigress is spread where all the tears move. She is going to hunt them as tears are the most likely food of tigers. They are eat one time a week. Everyone looks like very bright. She is going behind them. Monkeys are making noise and now we are going to track monkeys from their necks as their noise are increasing from that side pretty badly. So we are going to In Tantambur National Park, you will see large amount of monkeys. They feed their livelihood by eating leaves and fruits only from forests. The monkey jumps from that tree to the other tree. These species are having black color all around them. The infant looks very notorious. He is seeing us and making faces, jumping from one tree to another. This is his just start. I have posted some photograph shots in the end of this video, please check out them. If you like this video, give a thumbs up, if not, thumbs down, but give your reviews, your reviews are very important to me. If you haven't subscribed my channel, please do subscribe now.